which is a great new Damn. law. It's like fixed my like '90s hair that I got going here. It looks great, actually. Thank you, Danny. I uh, pride myself on the voluminousness of it, um, and it's it not cooperating. Voluminous. I need a haircut. I need to go to my uh, barber. Maybe you should censor that so that he doesn't get get hate yeah. mail. He doesn't um, get mobbed. Yeah. Somebody coming after me, they'll be like, "Well, like at least go after." <laughs> Maybe Danny will hear about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I need to also. But I, I feel like a hair appointment, especially in LA. It's first of all, you know, you're not going to be able to get in for a week. So that knowing that it's going to take a long time weirdly makes you procrastinate even more because you're like, ah, it's just a, like it's such delayed gratification. Then I have to drive to the Valley of Los Angeles. It really is horrendous. I, I moved up the street from my old house. So I just, I just recently moved uh, um, uh, like a mile, about a mile. And I thought, that's great. I'll go to the same grocery store. I can work out in the same park. My life won't even change. But that mile added nearly 25 minutes to my commute. Oh, God. Because every day it's something. A junkie plows into a fire hydrant and floods <laughs> a city block. Add 15 minutes onto your commute. A high-speed chase ensued with the police, and now there's a shootout at La Brea in La Cienega, and you have to go 30 minutes out of your way. So for me, getting a haircut, I mean, I might as well be crossing into Tijuana to get it done. It's such... <laughs> And it's such a, it's like an effort that's, yeah, I, I'm getting anxiety just thinking about it. I need one as well, though. See, it's here it's construction or car accident every single day. If there wasn't any of that, my drive to work would be 30, 35 minutes. But every day it's an hour for some reason. Um, and it, it never gets done. But isn't your haircut like part of who you are, I want to say? Like, isn't, aren't you recognizable partially because of your haircut? Yeah. It's a pretty stupid bowl cut right now. And uh, right after it gets cut, I get a wave of shit talk from the fans for like uh, maybe three weeks until it grows out into a more natural state. Then they're like, all right, we can stop making fun of his hair. <laughs> but yeah, I guess um, I guess when, when you do what I do, you can't get the traditional like douchebag TikToker perm cut or anything like that. You can't be trying to look hot. So that rules out a bunch of haircuts for me right there. I do jujitsu, so I don't want the hair all down in my face. So that rules out a longer haircut. So I'm, I'm really left with just a handful of cuts. And uh, the bowl cut is somehow what I wound up with. I'm not really sure. It's, it's probably well, find a better alternative now that I talk it out. 